What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing a Manchester City transfer update. Lots happening, big news to talk about. So before I do crack on with this video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content, do subscribe to my channel. Remember, I'm going to be doing daily Manchester City transfer updates from June to keep you guys up to date in what is going to be a very busy summer transfer window for Manchester City. So I'll keep you up to date here on YouTube and you can stay up to date by subscribing. It is free to subscribe. Also, don't forget social media links they're in the description if you want to go and follow me on my twitter instagram and tiktok email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries do leave a thumbs up 200 likes is the aim do get your thoughts as well in the comments below finally what to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor which is brought to you by football prizes they've got a fantastic prize available for you guys it's a manchester city signed quad shirt made up with signatures from Pep Guardiola, from Kevin De Bruyne, from Phil Foden and Jack Grealish. It does also include 31 instant prizes as well. It's £2.95 to enter. Links and details, they are in the description. You can buy as many tickets for this uh, as you want. To. So the more tickets that you buy, the more likely it is that you're going to potentially win this fantastic prize that is available. Uh, also, don't forget, with them 31 instant prizes available, you can get signed shirts uh, from Edison, from Kevin De Bruyne, from Jack Grealish, from Phil Foden, Plus your opportunity to win two tickets in hospitality for Manchester City's second leg clash against FC Copenhagen in the last 16 of the Champions League with Manchester City, of course, picking up a fantastic victory yesterday. So do go check it out. As I said, links and details there in the description. And a big thank you to Football Prizes once more for sponsoring this video. So we're going to move on to the outs. We've got one name to speak about, and that is Calvin Phillips. Now, the Football Insider have said that West Ham, they've paid £3 million in a loan fee to Manchester City for Calvin Phillips. Reports have been coming in saying that Barcelona tried to scramble together a very late move for Calvin Phillips, but they didn't act in time, and so he ended up joining West Ham United instead. A little bit of a slow start so far for Calvin Phillips at West Ham United. I'm sure once he gets more regular playing time, he'll start to go from strength to strength and start to show his quality, which I really hope for his sake uh, that he is able to do that. Uh, so we will see what happens. Of course, Calvin Phillips has done an interview this week speaking about his time at Manchester City. Some people have been criticising him. Other people have been supporting him. Uh, and for me, I think Calvin Phillips' uh, time at Manchester City at the moment, it's been very frustrating for him. Uh, it's no secret about his frustrations. Things have been said, things have happened, you know, uh, he's felt the implications of that. It's just been an all-round frustrating time for him at Manchester City. So he's got a new chapter here at West Ham and uh, my recommendation to Calvin Phillips would be to really knuckle down, focus between now and the end of the season, see if he can do well with West Ham and have a strong finish with them, see if he can get into the England squad and assess his situation again in the summer. So look for the short term here rather than aiming for the long term. Anyway, moving on to the ins, got uh, a new name, comes in the form of Mika uh, Marmol from Las Palmas over in Spain. Now, Jose Alvarez have said that Manchester City want to sign the 22-year-old centre-back. The plan is for the CFG to sign him and for him to be loaned out to Girona. So Manchester City, I think, would be signing him and then he would leave City and be loaned to Girona. I'm not too sure why Girona can't just sign him um, and have him as their own player and they'd still be a player of the CFG I'm not too sure I'm not too sure what the prices are here and what the game is but uh, yeah Manchester City always looking to try and utilize the City Football Group uh, and that'll be the plan here potentially with Mika Marmel as well he'll be very much a player that Man City are interested in which is why they want to sign him in the first place and then continue his development in Spain which is currently where he's playing his trade in the Canary Islands now moving on got another new name comes in the form of uh, Take Fusa Kubo over at Real Sociedad rated at 60 million euros which is his release clause. Apparently, Manchester City and Real Madrid are interested. He's a 22-year-old Japanese attacker. Real Madrid did sell him to Real Sociedad, so they do have a buyback clause included in that deal, so they can sign him for €30 million. Euros. So if Real Madrid want to sign him, it'd cost €30 million Euros as per that clause. If Man City want to sign him, it'd cost us €60 million. Euros. Real Madrid are favourites, but Manchester City are believed to be monitoring the situation. He's played 18 games so far in last 
La Liga with nine goal contributions uh, and has played in every game for Real Sociedad in the Champions League as well. These reports have been coming out according to uh, Fish Ayers over in uh, Spain, which is a media outlet. Hope I said their name correctly there. Uh, but yeah, he left Real Madrid back in 2022 to join Real Sociedad. Uh, Real Madrid brought him in from Japan in 2019. Interestingly, during his time in Japan, he did play for City Football Group side Yokohama F Marinos on loan. Uh, so that might have caught Manchester City's eye and now keeping an eye on his development are interested in particular with him doing well with Real Sociedad. But as I said, it is very much favourites uh, for Real Madrid rather than Manchester City, but City keeping an eye on the situation. Now, moving on, everybody's favourite player that we like to speak about, Joshua Kimmich. Back in the headlines once more, Real Tommy, uh, everybody's favourite City source on Twitter has said that Joshua Kimmich only wants to join Manchester City at this moment in time. He says he wants to leave Bayern Munich for a new challenge in the summer. He wants order, he wants structure, uh, and he wants plans in place both on the field and off the field for him to utilise and for him to get the basically get the very best out of him. And he doesn't see Bayern Munich as offering that. And because of that, in the summer, he wants to leave. And England very much believed to be on his wish list of places that he wants to go and play his football. And apparently Manchester City right now, his preferred destination. City will be interested in uh, holding midfielders, in uh, central midfielders in the summer. So Joshua Kimmich will be a player of interest for the right price. As of yet, we don't know what that price will be. He does have only one year left on his contract in the summer. So if he doesn't sign a new contract, there'll be plenty of interest, not for, just from Manchester City in England, but there'll be other clubs in Europe as well interested. And again, another one for me to keep my eyes and ears open for. Now, moving on to the final transfer, we've had some big news this week in terms of Savio over at Estac Trois. Now, Alvaro de Grado in Spain has said that the plan is for Savio to spend pre-season with Manchester City and and then he will be loaned back to Girona uh, should Girona qualify for the Champions League. The Telegraph have said that Manchester City uh, are believed to be paying north of £25 million. There has been offers that have come in for Savio from other Premier League clubs worth £25 million. And Manchester City are believed to have uh, beaten everybody else to the signature uh, and to probably... Uh, avoid criticism here from other Premier League clubs won't be looking for a cut price deal they'll be paying what Savio is valued at his market value which we're looking at roughly around 25 million quid so uh, to, to make basically make everybody else shut up about the transfer Man City probably will be paying a little bit more than 25 million pounds for Savio now the plan uh, is for Manchester City to use him in pre-season and then uh, either assess his situation for the first team squad or simply just loan him back to Girona for the season, which, of course, is where he's already out on loan from Estac Trois, who were part of the CFG uh, over in France. Now, Fabrizio Romano, late last night, has said uh, contracts are going to be signed in July. Everything now is in place for this deal to be sorted, and Fabrizio Romano has given it the here we go for Savio to join Manchester City from CFG side Estac Trois, currently out on loan at Girona. So we're just waiting for official confirmation. Everything else, fee, everything sorted, done and dusted, contracts ready to be signed. It'll get sorted once that transfer window does open. It does open in June. I presume Manchester City are going to allow Savio to head out uh, to go on international duty, maybe with uh, the Brazil national team or the Brazil youth team, uh, go on his holiday and everything. And when he's ready to come back and Man City are ready to start their pre-season, the last Savio to come back, he'll sign his contract, he'll be announced as a City player and he'll start training with the rest of the City first team squad. Uh, and we should see Savio get some minutes throughout July in our pre-season tour which uh, is believed to be in the United States of America so he will be a Manchester City player Fabrizio Romano very reliable already confirmed it so I'm gonna be the first to say welcome Savio to Manchester City so there we go that has been today's transfer update if you did enjoy this video please do leave a thumbs up 200 likes is the aim also don't forget to get your thoughts in the comments below subscribe it's free press that red button press the bell and put your push notifications on remember daily Manchester City transfer updates from June to keep you guys up to date uh, on YouTube every single day with all the latest Manchester City transfer news so if you haven't already do subscribe it is free also don't forget social media links they're in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter Instagram and TikTok 
TikTok. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. And uh, finally, do go and check out today's video sponsor, Football Prizes. As I said, they've got that fantastic quad shirt that you can go and check out. Uh, also got 31 instant prizes, including four signed shirts from other Manchester City players, as well as them hospitality tickets. So a fantastic prize, just £2.95 to enter. Links and details, they're in the description. And thank you to Football Prizes for sponsoring this video once more. And I'll see you all again real soon for the next Manchester City video. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.